All right, guys, good evening. It is Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Yoga Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Mr. Daniel Trout. Daniel uh, went ahead and purchased a console off the website from us. Here it is, Daniel. It's all done. It's an Xbox 360 Slim. Okay, it's up on the line servers along with a 10-day trial of the Purge for GTA 5. We're going to boot it right now. And I'm going to set you up over here. I'm going to insane the amount of luck to the boot. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sync up a controller here. All right, we're going to boot up into FSD Dash. We're going to get some notifications from the server letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. Once that happens, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how to get it online for the first time on your network. Okay? So anyway, we're booting up an FSD Dash now. We're going to get some notifications. And here we are. Welcome to the lines. We're going to get one more. <clears throat> and whammo! There you are. You're all done the purge. Okay. Now, here we go. All right. Under emulators, Okay. Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and maybe a compliment of ROMs on there to keep you busy for a long time and then some. If you like retro games, that's where you go. Alright, Xbox Classic Games, the original Xbox Brother in Arms, Road to Hill 30, and of course the original Halo. Now, homebrew section. Alright, where your tools are where your tools reside. You have Dash Launch, XM360, XEX Menu, Xbox 360 Dashboard, Voice Changer 360, Simple Man Flasher, FX Menu Flash 360, and back to Dash Launch. Xbox Live Arcade and mirrored mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including the famous Trailer Park King. Okay? So if you want to get your freak on, that's a good way to do it. Now, our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? We have, ready? Advanced Warfare, War Phase, Tomb Raider, Super Street Fighter 4, Splinter Cell, Sega Superstars, Tennis, Saints Row the Third, Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Hitman, Halo CE, Halo 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Gears of War Judgment, Gears of War 3, Gears of War 2, Gears of War, Fear 2, Defiance, Call of Duty World of War, Black Ops 3, Ghost, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 2, Battle of Bullet Storm Epic Edition, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, and Back to Advanced Warfare. Now, alright, in order to get to the real dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here, Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. That will, uh, that will transfer you to the original dash. Here you are. Hello again, Daniel Trout. You're on the line's live. You currently have 30 reserve days left. Got it good? Okay. And we will bypass the sign in. Whoopsie. <laughs> Wrong button. Got ahead of myself. As you can see, you're up here online. You are live. Here's our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. And over in our fifth tab, we have our off host, our ghost sheets, and my one for three sheets. Then, to get back up with the dash, just smash the A button and Xbox Home. That will take you back. All right. Now, okay. Get this little sucker online, okay? Now, this is what you got to do in order to get this thing online, all right, for the first time. You do this one time, okay? When you get it to your house, all right? We're going to go ahead. We're going to power the console off, okay? Now, you grab hold of the drive door before you power it on and all that other happy nonsense. You're going to pull the hard drive on it, just like that. Some of them are tight, and I don't know why. They're brand new shells, too. That's what gets me. But anyway, it's okay. So. Put the hard drive up there. Then what I want you to do, I want you to power the console on. When you do, you're going to come to the Xbox Blackboard screen. When you come to the Xbox Blackboard screen, slide all the way to the right, go to System, go to Settings, go to Network Settings. You'll see your Wi-Fi adaption point pop up. Click on it, put your password in, all right? It'll initialize a test. It will check mark off LAN. It will fail on the Internet. It will fail on Xbox Live. Once it completely fails, shut the system down, all right? When it fails, then take your hard drive, slip it back in. Seats with a click. Close the drive door. Pull the power supply. Wait three minutes for that thing to clear the SMC, discharge the capacitors. That way you start with a clean slate, okay? Then, plug it back in, power it back on, and guess what, buddy? You're good to go. So listen, brother, I want to thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. We'll have a tracking number for you by tomorrow evening. Thank you so much. Guys, you'll have a good one. I'll see you later. I'm on my next one.